Ooh, all American booty with a nice nine millimeter in there for good measure. It's good stuff. It may, hang on, hang on. Uh, that's a Beretta. I always I love reading the dating profiles. Yeah, let's these do guys. that. These are awful. <laughs> they are they are truly truly awful. Here's a great one here. This is a Charlie right, Bell. Now, before we get into it, just show Charlie the picture. Well. Well, you don't even like this is all that was in the the screen cap, and you can tell this woman's pushing two hundred or if not. No, no, no. She's she's three bills. That leg, well, actually, Look her at, leg isn't chunky enough. No, she, no. She doesn't have the residual clumps. Oh, okay, you're talking to a retired hog slayer here. I know, <laughs> I know what I'm. I know what I'm telling you when I look at this. Uh, don't second guess me on this. I, I'm sorry, sorry. She's north I of two fifty somewhere. I yield the floor. But this is the best part. Is the text. Oh, here Charlie we Rell, 33, independent, strong, and I take no BS. So we already know this woman's insufferable. Mm -hmm. Because you don't. if you have to say you're independent and strong, you're not. However, I'm open for anything because I'm a hopeless romantic. I love the color pink, shopping, and crafting. I also love basketball. I like going out and doing things. I have three boys and three different baby daddies. Thus the romantic. Yes. Hopeless romantic. Loyalty and consistency is very important to me, and anything less than that is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. I also strongly dislike liars and deadbeats. Kind of like the three guys who aren't paying child support now? The three guys who came in you? Yeah. You spelled I let losers come in me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, he, but this, is, this is what we have going on here. I mean, this... Mental delusion for these women has come all the way down to the point where you have women with three kids by three different men who is somewhere between three, 250 and 300 pounds Ugh. Spat, you know, spouting this bullshit on a dating profile. And they feel entitled to their standards. Yeah, listen, if it's just... Once you take the vacancy sign off your uterus, honey, you don't get to have standards anymore. That's pretty much correct. You can have basic civility, and that's really the best you can hope for, because you're clearly a serial bad decision maker. Clearly. Well, she's a hopeless romantic. A hopeless romantic. And that is the excuse for the serial bad decision maker. <laughs> oh, we got another one here. This one comes from uh, Dick Talk. Might as well call it that anyway. I will always hate how widely accepted it is for men to be less of. Oh, wow. The, the, uh, the projection here is on full display. They can underdress, be unattractive, grow old, be negligent fathers, put no effort forth, not take responsibility, aren't constantly ridiculed for the things they like, and it'll still be okay, while women's worth will always be weighed by our attractiveness, effort, and obedience. Is there a single thing that she said there that was correct? Not really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, do you see men well, most, going to Walmart in our pajamas? <clears throat> well, most dudes are we're so easy to get along with. Yeah. Like, and what's for dinner? Uh, is there dinner? Fine. You just check the block. It, it, do, it doesn't go into yeah. any details. And we also know what to sweat and what not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, this, this is one of my favorite mantras, and I've done it plenty of times. Fuck it. <laughs> yes. The bird's on fire, 20,000 feet. Everyone's flipping out, pops in his seat. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Yelling out, hey, don't worry about it. You won't even feel it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. They were, I was very unhappy. They were very unhappy when I did. Well, of course they were. <laughs> that's yeah. just that's, that's the name of the game, man. What, what really cracks me up the part, I love this, the, like, they can right, be on. unattractive. First of all, men don't grow old. Women grow old. We grow distinguished. That's that's a women's saying, not well, ours. Uh, but check this out. Women, men can be unattractive. Um, your own delusional bullshit proves you wrong. And this is from OK this Stupid. This is from OK Stupid. Uh -huh. Women rating men from most to least attractive. There are no most, tens. There are no tens. Wow. Okay, if you want to know who the more shallow sex is, there it is. Go to the source, and this so, is women when they didn't think they were being watched. So the top eighteen yeah. percent are minuscule numbers compared to everyone else. Yep. Now, when men rate women, 
It's exactly what you would expect. It looks like a bell curve. Correct. Because there's a whole lot of people well, in the middle who are average, and there's very few who are super ugly or super hot. Because men use logic and reason, and that tends to be a lot a lot more fair than emotions. You would think. <laughs> well, we know it's true. <clears throat> well, hey, look, uh, we'll drink up a four to a six or maybe even a seven yeah. if you throw a hard liquor in there and take her home. That's hilarious. I'm t- like Women like this, obviously, because she's... Well, you can kind of tell, even though she's got the war paint on and everything, she's on the thinner side. She has an actual jaw, you know. She's in her mid twenties. Yeah. So she is going after the the eights, nines, and tens, who to them, women like her are a dime a dozen, or they're like a single serving, you know, a mi- uh, cup of uh, cream on the pl- on the flight. You uh, you you yeah. use it once and you throw it away. A woman in her, in her mid twenties, unless she's walking around as a ten, there's like so what. Most guys are like yeah. okay, and e- even if you're a ten in looks, you're still only good for one thing. If you you need to have cool points, you, you need to have the five Fs. You need yeah. to be fit, feminine, friendly, fertile, and faithful. If you are not those five things, it doesn't matter how hot you are. And guess we actually use the dick stacking test as a measure if you will remain faithful to us moving into the future. Yeah. Because guess what? I mean, we we make predictions on past performance. Mm-hmm. And that's why they always fall back on, well, the past is the past. Yeah, says the people who hold all whites accountable for slavery that happened 200 years ago. Smurf over, my It's balls. over 200 years ago. I know. And I believe it was only Christian nations that put a stop to it at the cost of, like, was it 600,000 dead just in this country alone? Yeah. It's quite spectacular. It's spectacular. Uh, this uh, one right here, actually, I should have used this one during the OnlyFans article. It's so funny. My ex paid for my OnlyFans, violated the terms of use by taking screenshots and printing things out, and brought it into court to show everybody. The anxiety I have is where are the copies, and who all is he showing them to, and compromising my privacy. All right, hang on, hang on. Well, all right. <laughs> Does this woman know of the term the internet is Ooh. forever? Uh, apparently she missed that memo. And you're on OnlyFans. There are sites out there that rob the content from OnlyFans, OnlyFans or whatever. OnlyFans, whatever they are. And they put your name on it and your information, and they put it up on you know on the dark web or some other servers where dark anyone web. can get at that shit. Dark web. Yeah, dark web. Dark web. Dark web. I'm sorry. If you don't want this stuff. Don't do it. Showing up later and biting you in the ass. Stop selling tickets to said ass to the lowest bidder. Uh, who was that Muslim uh, prom, I mean, porn woman? Uh, Mia the, Khalifa. Yeah, she's got she, the same damn problem. She just got divorced because her husband doesn't want anything to do with uh, the fact that she was in porn. Well, I mean, you look at uh, her and uh, Lana Rhodes are all are in the same pity party buzz. Well, I didn't really know what I was getting into, but now I'm an entrepreneur. I can make my living without porn. Oh, really? How are you making your living now, girls? Only fans. Space Ghost is on. There we go. Uh, what, are you running a <laughs> channel where you're showing us your bleached butthole and then your unbleached butthole? Wasn't Lana Rhodes the one who ate the bucket of shit or something like I that? I have no idea. Like, I don't want to know. Went to... Full uh, two girls, one cup, or something, and then tried to complain about it afterwards. Well, I know like there's not a, an adult who signs contracts. Well, there's a couple, there's some women out there who actually fly out to Saudi Arabia, and those twisted motherfuckers do whatever the fuck they want Ugh. without drawing blood. Of course, pay them an insane amount of money, and then send them back here to the states, and they're cool with that. Oh well, yeah, because okay. at the end of the day, they think. That they're never going to be judged for things that they did for money. Because sex work is real work, right? Listen, I'm just... So pay your taxes. Listen, if if you are out on the dating market, you come across a woman that you know, used to be a stripper <laughs> or worked in a strip club, but I only serve drinks, <gasps> you need to immediately push yourself away from the table, excuse yourself to the men's room, and then you need to <laughs> run the fuck out of there, block her number, and never go back. 
That's kind of what I did <laughs> when I found out that uh, that Angela was an Orn Pay queen. Oh my god! And she was into the really nasty stuff, like the the slapping, biting, fish hooking. You know, like her ass would, you know, be pale and creamy at the beginning of the video, and by the end of it, would look like a <clears throat> prolapsed strawberry. Yeah. And look, I mean... They're going, I, like, dazed and confused on her ass. I've known probably <laughs> half a dozen strippers, and they, they were they seemed like cool girls, and they were nice, but guess what? <sighs> I don't care I'm, if I'm you're not, paying your way through medical school. I'm not getting involved in that. Tell it to your patients. That's right. Because mine is wearing thin. Listen, you want to shake your ass from 18 to 28... Get ready for uh, a lifelong disappointment in 40 to 80 is a long fucking time. Uh, it's called uh, Consequences. Yeah. And we all know where it leads. Stop. Don't touch me there. This is my no no swear. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do the damn dance every time. Uh, here's another delusional female. Uh, th this one <sighs> actually got some comeuppance. You know, this you could file this one under the, the heading of, uh, so the comments aren't going the way you thought, huh? Uh -huh. Yesterday, a creep told me that he loved my long hair, so today I cut it. I love your neck. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, to be fair, now listen, I, she's I, not I, a bad looking chick, even though she's got a five head. Well, the thing is, at least to my eye, I like the longer hair. Yes. When they bob their hair that short, it, it just, just doesn't do it for me. See, now, that one isn't too bad to me. It's when they they get the I don't give a fuck haircut. And you see moms who have multiple girls do this all the time. Chin length cut with bangs. The bull cut. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen quite a few of those. And usually the girls sporting those are frumpy at best. Very frumpy. Frumpy. That's, that's why I call it the I don't give a shit cut. Because that's right. exactly what it says to me. I'm like, all right, well, you're uh, or, yeah. you're or done. they show up with uh, unnatural colored hair. Yeah, or, or they have like your haircut. Like your mom has your haircut. Yeah, <laughs> and there's a reason why my mother is. I mean, she's beyond the dating pool, but just. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not going to encourage her to join OnlyFans. <laughs> no. You no. could get some extra pocket money, Bob. No, my mother has <laughs> been single since. I was forever 13. Long time. That is a very long time. When and you so, say 40 to 80 is a long time, you mean it. I mean it. And the, the big thing, her downfall is she's uber liberal and a feminist. Yep. And uh, any dude worth his salt is not going to no. write a check against either. Well, and then she you know, divorced with two kid, three kid, two or three kids, something like that. Like I have a half brother, but he left when I was 10. Ah. You know, I mean, and. Can you imagine that? Like back in the day, if you were a divorced woman with kids, men didn't mess with you. You're done. Yeah. And it's still applicable today, but yeah. now they're blaming and guilty. Yeah, yeah. A, a man who won't date a woman with kids isn't a real man. Yeah. Piss off. Yeah, you know, I, <laughs> no amount of blame and shame is going to force a dude worth his salt into the position of paying for your <laughs> unsanctioned ejaculations. It's not going to happen. Yeah, and here's another thing is. I've had, uh, since I started doing this, I've probably had dozens and dozens of arguments with feminists and women and like traditional women, but seemed like. The and they're all the same. All the same. And on those rare occasions where they go, well, a real man would do this without <laughs> missing a beat. I'm like, bitch, I've been to three fucking wars and I jumped into combat. That's about as manly as it fucking gets. There so shut go. the fuck up. It's hilarious. It's like that uh, video that's been making the rounds now of Matt Walsh talking to this, uh, you know, confused poles and hole individual and saying like, well, you know, if you're not a woman, you don't have the right to say what a woman is. It's like, all right, I'm not a cat. Can, I you, say can you tell me what a cat is? Like, <laughs> this was a mistake and I clearly shouldn't have engaged you. Because the <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. It, you ask a simple question. Adult, if they don't have an answer. Adult, human, female. Is it really that hard no. to, to define what a woman yeah. is? 
And, and, but somehow we're, we're falling right back onto they want feelings to mm-hmm. equal reality. Magical thinking. It doesn't that, work that way. Listen, man, you, you can go right to Never Never Land and snort all the fairy dust you want. Yep. It's not going to make your feelings fucking real. Yeah. Okay, it, go on. When a woman says you're not a real man, they've lost the argument. Yeah. If you feel like you can fly and you want to jump off of a high uh, object, by all means, go ahead and give it a go. Yep. But I'm telling you right now that gravity doesn't give a shit about your feelings, yep. and you will get teed up for your harsh argument with physics in three to eight seconds, maybe 30, depending upon how high up you want to go. And it doesn't really matter how many times you listen to that R. Kelly song, especially not anymore. Yep. Just saying. Because he and the confu- confused poles and holes community apparently have uh, similar predilections that tend to get them in trouble. Uh, you think? I'm gonna pee on you. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, they're like, they're straight up grooming, grooming the kids. Yes, they are. But you can't call it that because well, you know that's I'm, a conspiracy. Theory. I will call it what it is. Exactly. It is fucking grooming. Yep. All right. Now, if I want to groom a kid, if I was gonna do something like that, I would take him to a strip club. But since you can't do that, that's illegal. I'll just bring the strip club. To where the kids are. Yeah. And apparently in New York, they will steal 400000 plus in tax dollars to pay for it. With or without your knowledge or consent. Yeah. Gotta now listen, it. if I want to watch something like that, I'll go to Vegas. They have like shows where drag queens dance around. They look like real women. I don't, you know, if I, as long as I don't know what it is, yeah. I don't care. If, well, if they're I mean, like, hey, hey, if they're like, hey, this guy wants to want to pull a crying game on you, that's not. And I'll fun. be like, what, what did you say? Oh no, they, they just look like real men, but they're but they're not women; they're men, but they look like women. Pop, women don't have Adam's apples. What? I'll be like, <laughs> yeah. Well, you could go watch it. I'm, I'm going to the buffet. Yeah, <laughs> gonna get me bottomless crab legs. <laughs> it drown my sorrows. <laughs> Oh, that, that, that requires one of these. That's exactly <laughs> what I would do, though, man. I'd be like, no, go ahead. Watch it all you want. I'm not going to stop you, that? but I'm going to go to the... Go over here. Bottomless King Dongs. Two crab for legs. One, two for one special. <laughs> oh, my Ooh, God. Back to Tinder. All right. Uh, Tell me why, as I was swiping on Tinder, I saw my boyfriend. Can men be loyal? Stop asking me what I was doing on Twitter, too. That's not the point. <laughs> It is the point, actually. That's uh, that's what you call a spectacular self-own right there. Like women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, these chicks. Oh, there's an even better one right here. You'll love this. Oh. Guys, my friend got banned from Tinder because she showed up to dates without makeup, and the dudes kept reporting her as a catfish. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you seen some of these women? Yes. Oh, I, I, listen, I did the video the, called The One Tit Wonder a couple of years back. Oh, yeah. We did a, one video, too, where we had a whole bunch of before and after yeah. makeup uh, videos, and some of them were just, wow. But the thing is, is I could not tell this woman had one titty. Yeah, they got the little, like, bouncy no, it, jelly I, water, I, whatever that I couldn't is. tell. Uh, and it literally caught me by surprise. That is egregious. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's an so awkward it sounded moment. like somebody dropped a rump roast behind the butcher counter. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on? Oh, my God. This is such a horrible Was it thing. dark when that happened? And you, you like, ran for the lights? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's hard to explain. I mean, it was such an awkward moment. <laughs> it's like, I could imagine that happening in the dark. You hear something that big and, exactly- and, and meaty hit the ground, and you're like, please don't let it be a dick. Please don't let it be a dick. What's wrong? I'm deciding if this is better or worse than a dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, man, that was some serious catfishing right there. I mean, listen, uh, if something like that's going on, just say, hey, look, this is the deal. I, I'd be like, okay, I'll make a decision. Yeah. All right. And like, if, you, if you're missing a leg and I can't tell because you got like a bionic looking leg. We can rebuild you. We have just, technology. You know, I mean, that wouldn't be as, uh, as big of a problem, you know. But yeah. I'm just saying, just, just tell it, dude. Just tell them. Just tell them. Like, I'm missing a leg. Okay, I can work with that. I can work with that. Yeah. 
Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for Supporters Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar.